One of these things is kind of like the other. Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Wizardly Reads, and as always guys, I'm Andrew, and today guys, today I've got a kind of a fun video of kind of a, if you like this, try this, uh, type of deal. Bad singing aside, uh, I was recently kind of just sitting here in my office, and all of a sudden the thought came to me, I was like, hey, this book kind of reminds me of that one. And then I started seeing some videos of like, you know, recommendations of like, hey, if you like this one, try this one. I'm like, I could do that. So here's my attempt at doing a video like that. But before we get into it, make sure you are liking and subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you can get regular updates for when I put out new content. Also, make sure you're checking that description box down below for the link to the Wizardly Duo Discord, as well as links to all my social media and information about my Patreon. And uh, that said, guys, we're, we're going to kind of just jump right on into here. And it was wild because recently I read uh, Stephen King's The Stand. I know it doesn't look like The Stand, but trust me, this is The Stand. Just look how thick it is. And I was reading a certain part and all of a sudden, like, it just came straight to the forefront and it reminded me of another series that I really, really enjoy and that I have promoted here on the channel before and I still stand by that recommendation. And that is Nightmare Land Chronicles by Daniel Barnett. This is a series of short novellas that is just absolutely amazing. These are both post-apocalyptic style stories. But I got to like around the middle portion of this book, The Stand. And I all of a sudden was starting to think of the third volume of the Nightmare Land Chronicles. Uh, which I, I've talked to Daniel and he said that he loves this book. And so it kind of shows. And this kind of takes a different take on it where like... It's more nightmares than like anything else but like i mean if you love the stand and you want to kind of recapture that feeling for the first time that brutality that adventure that just sort of struggle for survival please check out daniel barnett's nightmare land chronicles all right that's the first recommendation out of the way up next of course everybody loves mistborn by brandon sanderson now what could i possibly be about to recommend to you. Well, that is going to be Voice of War by Zach Argyle. Not only do these have very similar magic systems, but they also kind of read with the same kind of pacing. Now, this one I think is a tad bit, um, the world is a bit darker than here is, than it is in Threadlight. However, the characters are a little bit darker than what is going on here in Mistborn. However, I think that, you know, I've heard it bandied around before. It was like, oh, you liked Mistborn? Why not try Voice of War? And trust me, uh, I've read the first two books of this. The third book is getting ready to come out in August, and I cannot wait. Uh, the the follow-up to this was absolutely amazing. So, yes, this is the second recommendation. All right, just right down there, off to the side. And then up next, this can go in either way, because a lot of people... You know, the, this, fir this first book is very old, still very much loved. We have got David Gemmell's Legend. This is book one in the Draenei Saga. Uh, well, it's the first book that was released uh, in publication order, not chronologically. And, you know, David Gemmell is very much the master of heroic fantasy. And honestly, recently I picked up a book that absolutely blew my socks off. And off of one book, I just picked up the rest of this author's works. And that is Stephen Aryan's The Coward. This is a very modern take on heroic fantasy. And honestly, like, when I was reading this, this one, sorry, I don't know why I shook this one. When I was reading this one, I couldn't help but think that he's a natural successor to David Gimmel, who passed, you know, many, many years ago, uh, like a legend writing at his desk. And if you have been missing David Gimmel, I highly recommend you check out Stephen Aryan's uh, The Coward, which The Warrior is getting ready to drop in the next couple of months, and so this will be a completed duology and i cannot wait uh so that is our third recommendation the next recommendation uh is from a classic and frankly like you know if you love dune and then yeah i'm showing off my nice folio society one because why not um but if you like dune this is very classic sci-fi it's a pillar of kind of the whole genre uh and is indicative and it's just inspired so much uh Pick Up Sun Eater by Christopher Rocchio. This takes Dune and makes it even more awesome. It's got great action, great themes, 
it's just absolutely fantastic. It's also like pulled from more like modern kind of inspirations like Farseer, Name of the Wind. Uh, it's got, you know, a little bit of Red Rising in there, but very much a lot of Dune inspiration within this book. So if you like this one, check this one out. Uh, I know it's been getting a lot of buzz, but still not enough people are checking out um, Empire of Silence and Sun Eater. It is absolutely fantastic. And one of my favorites, uh, actually my favorite of all time, would be The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. I love The Wheel of Time. So imagine my surprise when I picked up Mark Timoney's Blood of the Spear and fell in love. And not only that, but it's got strong inspirations. And in fact, I did a dedicated review for this one where I said, this feels like Steven Erickson rewrote The Eye of the World, which is incredible praise because everybody knows that Steven Erickson writes really, really descriptive worlds. But, you know, at the same time, The Eye of the World also has a fantastic story, large cast of characters, tons of lore and history, and it's all right here in The Eye of Eternity 1, Blood of the Spear by Mark Timoney, and it's self-pub. So that's another reason why you should pick it up. All right, guys, I only have one more recommendation here for you. And it's kind of a cascading one, uh, if you will, because it's kind of got, you know, two recommendations tied to it. And it's kind of a given, but, you know, I figured, why not? I would throw it in there. If you liked John Gwynn's Faithful and the Fallen, no surprise then, making another appearance on the list is David Gimmel. You should totally check out one of the books that inspired Malice and Faithful and the Fallen, and that's Sword in the Storm, the first Regante book by David Gimmel. David Gimmel, again, was a legend of heroic fantasy. I guess this is more of a why you should read David Gimmel video. <laughs> but guys, like there are so many interesting themes that you can definitely see that if you've read Faithful and the Fallen, you can see where John Gwen went, Oh, that would be cool. And what if I took that and did this with it? And so there is just so many comparisons in there. But like I said, this was a cascading recommendation. So then what if you loved Faithful in the Fallen and you want to read something even newer? Well, then of course there's Ryan Cahill's Of Blood and Fire, The Bound and The Broken Book 1. Again, very, very similar stories, but also very different, similar tone. Same kind of setting, same kind of band of characters and things of that nature. Very, very different circumstances. And this is an author that with each subsequent release, his books get better and better and better. So I'm very, very excited. This series is getting ready to conclude. I believe this year, uh, the third book comes out. I still need to read the second book, but I have read his first novella. His second novella, The Exile, just dropped. And I'm hearing nothing but rave reviews. So again cascading recommendation. If you like Malice, which is very much a booktube darling right now, check out Regante and check out Of Blood and Fire. So guys, that is all that I've got for you in this, my first iteration of, if you like this, maybe try this. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what some of your recommendations are based off some of the books that you kind of think are similar that other people would love to read and check out that they may not think of. Uh, that's it, guys. That's really all I've got for you. So till next time, peace out. Stay magical. Bye. And as always, I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons. Mm -hmm.